Hey guys, it's Raphael, and uh, it's been a while. Well, not been a while. I mean, in video, yes, I haven't been recording everything I do. But uh, uh, anyway, so I'm gonna work on this uh, Asajj Ventress. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but anyway. Um, so the client wants her to look more like the uh, Sideshow Premium format, and let's get this going. Hola amigos, este aquí tengo la Asajj Ventress. Este vamos a quitarle todo este estilo de de pintura que tiene. Aquí abajo va a ser blanco, negro y este hacerla ver un poco más uh, pues más real y diferente a como el cliente quiere uh, así que empecemos ok so right now I'm just really cleaning her up with 99% uh, alcohol uh, you don't have to use a whole bunch uh, you know then you're going to have a big mess of the paint starting to come off but <clears throat> you just clean her really well again using 99% alcohol some of the paint starts coming off but that's good it's nice and clean Ahorita la estoy limpiando con este alcohol 99%. Okay, now I'm going to primer the surface. And, um, uh, you know, you can use any good primer. I like to use high build primer surface. Uh, it's automotive primer and actually works really great. Uh, it sticks very well and it gives you a, a, a texture when you put it on there, especially for the skin areas. So it's kind of cool. Uh, but again, you can use any kind of primer. Okay, lo voy a poner este, no sé cómo se dice primer en español, pero primer. Uh, este es de, de automóvil. No es necesario usar eso, pueden usar el que quieran, uno bueno. Pero este me gusta porque le da una, una textura más como de piel, especialmente en caras. Uh, so I mixed up some... Um, uh, FW acrylic inks white and a little bit of a uh, black but I actually just did an off an off white uh, not completely white but just eh, kind of like white but not white está no completamente blanco pero este le eché blanco con un poquito de de negro pero no gris And as always, I always use matte finish to seal. Lo siempre lo sello con matte finish. All right, we're going to go ahead and use red to give it some uh, little splatter on here. Similar to if it's going to be a human skin, but we're going to keep it subtle so we can still keep the pale and white skin tone. Ahorita le estoy echando un poquito de rojo, pero muy suavecito para que no se vea tanto como piel humana, pero que tenga algo de textura, pero mantener lo blanco. And we're doing the same thing with the blue now. Estamos haciendo lo mismo con el azul. And now we are going to go with some gray. <coughs> Not too dark gray, but con un poco de, de gris. <coughs> Let me zoom in just so you get an idea of what I did here. Now it looks like, you know, a lot of speckles and freckles and all. But we're going to knock that down with the base coat again. But we're going to go in with some <coughs> modeling. Uh, and then we'll go in with the base to kind of push all this stuff uh, inside. Uh, se ve ahorita como que tiene muchas pecas, pero te da falta ponerle así como el modeling. Y ahorita van a ver lo que es eso. Todas las venitas. Y sobre todo esto se le va a poner otra base sobre esto para que esto no se vea tan tan llamativo, sino que se, se, se metan hacia adentro de la piel. Ok, I almost forgot. 
we need to seal this in case I mess up like I did. We need to be able to wipe it off without disturbing the other stuff. Okay, que casi se me olvida. Vamos a sellarlo de nuevo con esto. Uh, por si me equivoco, se puede borrar fácil sin, sin borrar lo, lo que tengo ya ahí. So this is just very subtle modeling. Not too much again because you don't want it to look a whole different skin tone. You can barely see this. La pena se ve esto, pero ahí está. Son puras venitas. Como lombricitas. Now we're going with the blue. Or el azul. Again, very subtle. Ahora es el azul, muy suavecito, que apenas se ve. Ok, now we're going to go in with the first color we did at the beginning, to knock that down and push it in. Ahora vamos a ir con la base que empezamos, el primer color, a todo para noquear eso un poco más. Para adentro. I don't know if it picks it up, but as you can see, she's still white, not super bright white, but you do have the uh, the uh, skin looking type of thing in there because uh, we just knocked it right through in there so it's kind of cool once we get a shading in there she's going to be awesome entonces ya se ve que sigue blanca pero ya lo, lo que le pusimos está un poco menos este notable Alright, so right now I'm using uh, Silly Putty. You can use tape, but I'm just, this gives you a nice edge to mask so I can paint this area. I'm still using este, un tipo de plastilina. Aquí se llama Silly Putty. Um, para bloquear aquí esta área y, y pintar lo de aquí abajo. Right here I'm using uh, Krylon uh, Flat Black. Okay, now we're covering the edge so we can paint the bottom part. Estamos tapando de abajo para pintar 
lo de abajo. And these little ugly little things in here, we're just going with a brush and smooth everything out. Luego aquí le vamos a poner este con una brocha negra, se le rellena ahí bien, bien bonito. And with the same black, we're just Give a little bit of shading on the white area. Un poquito de sombra, ya que tenemos lo negro aquí. Okay, I left the eyes for last because those are hard to do. It takes a lot of time. Right now let's just make them nice and white. Well, not too white. Okay, now we're going to do the eyes, the irises. And uh, this is what I do. This is actually the the hardest part. It takes a lot of time. Um, vamos a hacer los ojos, uh, el iris, y este es lo más difícil para hacerlo lo más real que se pueda. Pero esto es lo que yo hago. Okay, so I have a 24 millimeter eyeball here. Um, it would have been nice to have put, you know, put them in through here, this girl, but that wasn't the plan. So we're going to uh, paint them on. And what I do is I get a washer and I measure the circumference of the iris. Uh, this one is a little bit bigger than this one but by the time you draw it, because I'm going to draw it on a piece of paper or cardboard like I did here, by the time you draw it it's actually the same size as the uh, iris. Um, aquí tengo un ojo de 24 milímetros pero lo que hago es agarro una este, no sé cómo se llaman estas cosas pero es un washer Y es un poco más grande que, que lo que es ahí, pero de aquí a que ya lo dibuja uno este, y lo recorta uno, ya es el del tamaño del iris. Ok, so, once that's cut, then that's what I'll be using as a template to make the iris on the uh, person here. And what I do is I cut around the area, le corto alrededor. So it kind of like, you know, lays pretty nicely on here, like that, on both eyes. And I just spray on there. So let's do that, but we need to make sure I get this centered. Entonces lo que hago, le recorto aquí para que quede muy bien en el ojo. Pero hay que ver que esto esté centrado, entonces vamos a ponerle dos puntitos para que esto esté centrado. Okay, so I'm going to put two little black dots just so I can center the uh, iris. Okay, I think it looks right. 